Yo, what's up guys? Seb here, and I uh, hope you guys all like the GFX pack that's just been released today. I've had about 40 downloads, which is pretty impressive. But um, yeah, just keep downloading it, feel free to download it. But uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an intro, but like just the animation. So it's just like sh sh straight out of Cinema 4D. Um, here's a, like a simple example. But um, I'm not going to have any of the effects or the writing or the sound effects. Just simply the this bit. And it's using something called the random effector in Cinema 4D. But uh, yeah, okay, so let's go into Cinema 4D. File new. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make a text object. You want to just rotate the camera out a bit. And let's change it to this one Batman. Make it a bit deeper. And just call it Steam or something. Right. Um, so, next thing you want to do is you come up to here, come to MoGraph, and then go to Random Effector and put the text object into the random effector so it the arrow there is going down not not like that down and that literally makes it a pair that makes random effector a parent but here we actually have the the motion but it's a bit crap um what you want to do is you want to make it a lot a lot like more i don't know what to say um i don't know, just like, make it a lot more crazy so but you want you want to keep this motion you need to keyframe so We'll go to 0%, make sure the keyframe, the timeline's at 0%. And then you want to just hold down control and hit this little circle here, which makes it red. And then you want to come along to, say, 90 frames or how many is in your timeline. And um, hit 100% there. So at the moment it's going like that, so it's actually moving away from the writing. But if you want to swap it around, just literally swap the keyframes. Around, yeah, that's it. So, um, but what you want, you've got all these different modes you can do. So, you can have like kick tick scale, kick tick rotation, and as long as it's on zero percent, you can go crazy with this. You I mean put them all the way over there, all the way down there, and then it all just forms back together, and it and it does it pretty quickly. But, uh, I don't like to make them that. that that too like far away but I like to add a rotation and a scale and uh, kind of just make it look really abstract but if you have a rotation it kind of makes it really crazy so like this I mean that looks pretty sexy and with a, with a good lighting setup just use a ring ring light it'll look great straight away I mean, like already, and then I mean, that's pretty much how simple it is. And then you could just have your optical flares or your textures. I don't know, whatever you want. But that's pretty much it. A quick tutorial on how to make simple animation for your intros. Hope you liked it. Um, and be sure to comment below on more tutorial suggestions. All right, thank you. Peace.